Hi, Mike Santa here, and I'm going to give you a little bit of review for this uh, Spin Master Hero Droid BB-8. So when it came in the box, you saw that hopefully uh, it was in another video I just did. Uh, right here is where the charging port was, so I plugged it in here, and the indicator that this is charged is actually on the charger. There's a red light that flashes. It's solid when it's being charged, and then when it's finished charging, it starts to flash. So I know that this, uh, that's how you charge this guy. So I'm going to unplug him. He's ready to go. So this is the dome here, and he's got the USB charger. Funny thing, it does not come with a power brick, so you have to use your own power brick to plug in this USB. So it's got a green light in there and it says it's okay. So I'm gonna plug it. That's when it's fully charged. So I'm going to take these antennas off because I know when driving around these things and sometimes the head flies off, I don't want the antennas to get damaged right now. So I read a little bit of the manual. What I like about this thing is when you put the head on, you can really feel it when it goes on. But that's how the mechanism knows it's going forward because if you try to put the head on the opposite way, the, uh, the magnets are polarized that way. So I thought that was kind of smart. Looks like there's two magnets here, or right here rather. Uh, there might be two more here, I'm not sure. I think these two are the magnets. Well, I can be sure, right? There they are. Maybe these are some kind of sensors or uh, magnets that help it know which way the head is positioned. So now we know this way is forward on the BB-8. So the controls on this, the switches, there's an on and off switch on the top. And then there's, oops, and then there's a selector switch here that has an A, B, and C. That A, B, and C has to correspond to the transmitter a, B, and C. That selects the channel for the robot. So I'm selected on A here and I'm selected on A here and that's good. So those are the switches for this. The other thing on this controller are these three positions. One is RC mode, the center one is for voice commands, and the Number two is for follow me mode. And the middle button here is for BB-8 to do some random actions while you're driving it. I'll show you that. So I'm gonna leave this hatch open and I'm gonna turn on my transmitter and I'm going to turn on the body. So you see the red light and the pendulum just now is trying to move and get into position as I turned it on. So I'm gonna turn the head on open that switch and funny thing is you saw the green light here when it charged when you turn on the head there's no lights in the back but huh there should be light in the front which I don't see oh here's a little white light it's on so it's kind of weird that there's no indicator that it's on back here which I would expect but here it is right up here I'm going to put this head on, finding the position. There's a little startup. Thanks. It's a little startup sound and some animation to let you know that it's ready to go. So it's pretty easy to drive. Um, and if, if you notice, this is why I took off this piece right here. There's an axle that runs like this on the droid, and it's very noticeable if you leave this hatch open, because as it's rolling, that hatch is always going to stay in the center. So this is the forward and reverse driving with this stick. And um, the way you drive, and I'm going to turn it this way. When you're driving them, you can move this stick to the right and he'll turn to the right and back him up. 
moving forward. So that's why you're driving. He drives pretty good, and there is a dampening you can see in there when uh, for the wiggle. There is some kind of 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 uh, uh, what do they call that? Uh, a gyro in there that tells it when it's moving, so it actually counters with the swinging of the pendulum. So let me see if I can do a turn in this room. Maybe I should, we should just turn it off. Oh, don't get all angry. He's very angry right now. So, so here's the radius of his turn. It's actually a pretty good radius of a turn. So here's the button right here in the center, if I push it, he's going to do a different action. So you'll see some things, you'll notice some things as I was driving him over here on the tile. First of all, with this bump here, I had to go pretty fast to get over the bump. You'll see sometimes a little shutter where it's trying to, to find the, the right position to balance on and the, uh, the gyro is trying to set it straight. So sometimes it can't find that position and it'll shutter, it'll actually shutter. And what will happen too is the GPS is, I mean the, uh, the gyro is telling it where, where, the, where the position of the pendulum is so when it tries to get and go on this carpet right here if it can't quite make it and it's in the position where the pendulum is up a little you'll see it's trying to struggle to get up on the carpet so here's where it's struggling i'm not doing anything right now and it's it's really struggling to try to get up because the pendulum is is swinging in a position that it thinks it still needs to move so if you crash into a wall sometimes that happens also he tries to keep moving up onto the wall but he drives pretty good on the, the tile Oops. the same type of turning I think he's a little bit more wobbly and also if you get him to start spinning because I was driving him and he was spinning around in a circle and uh, you had to really wait for him to stop spinning like this before you drove him again. So as far as speed is concerned, oops, take him back on this area and we'll just, see he's like trembling right now because his pendulum is moving. But we'll, See how fast he goes. And that's a decent speed for this thing. So that's how he comes to a stop. I just released it. So there's there's a lot of electronics in there that to help you drive it. Here he goes full speed off the stick and it kind of balances pretty good. Um, the other mode is follow me mode of course which is kind of awkward. I'll flip this switch just to follow me mode and now he's supposed to follow where this remote control goes. And he's really liking it. <laughs> so I guess I must be Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like carpet so much. See, there he goes spinning around. He's really confused. 
Poor guy. And his head motion is, is actually making him spin more. So wherever I go, he's going to try to follow me. And I'm thinking it's the sensors in his head. This way, he's looking for me. So that's follow me mold. I haven't done anything with voice command mode. Where are you going? BB-8. Come here. How are you? How are you? You have to wait for his white light to come on. And this light right here. Don't know what he's doing. Um, I don't know where he's going. Stormtrooper. Come here. Come here. He's not listening. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, hopefully you saw some of the some things that you like in this thing. It really does drive great. And um, I'm sure you're going to have fun with it as well as uh, your family, your friends, your, and the kids. They're gonna really enjoy this. So see you later.